Hey guys, today we're talking about the CompTIA Pentest Plus. We're going to talk about the resource I used, how long it took me, a little bit about my background so that you can kind of get an understanding of how I got it in the time that I got it, and just kind of generally going over it and how I feel about it. So a brief summary of me, I am a lead security analyst with three years of direct cybersecurity experience two years of IT experience before that. And I've been studying cybersecurity for really the last eight years. So that's kind of gives you more of a perspective of my background. So we'll start off with the resource that I used. And I use the Cybex textbook. I it's from Mike Chapel. He's a PhD. He has the certification as well. And he actually has a lot of different books for various certifications, CompTIA and other ones, such as books for the CISSP and the CISM, etc. And that's the one resource I used. I pretty much read the whole book front to back. I skimmed over two chapters that I knew I did not have to read, which was chapter one and two, but everything else I, I read through. After I was done reading it, I went over the specific exam objectives. So at the end of every chapter, you have an, uh, an exam es essentials is what it's actually called. And that kind of tells you, hey, from reading this chapter, here's what you need to really take away from it. So after I was done reading the whole book, I then went over the exam essentials for each chapter. Then I created a separate document for all of the security tools. I think there's like 92 tools that's referenced in the CompTIA Pentest Plus exam objectives, okay? Uh, that's a lot of tools, and especially if you're not familiar with pen testing, it's going to be a lot. A lot of people, that have the CASP, right, which is technically uh, a, a more difficult exam, they've said that the Pen Test Plus is actually harder. That's more because they don't really have an expo they didn't previously have an exposure to penetration testing, and that makes complete sense because it is a whole different world from the blue team side, right, which is what most people have experience with. It's, it's easier to become a, a SOC analyst starting out than it is to become a penetration tester. So most people have their experience in the blue team side, in that security analyst side. So it makes sense why people typically say it's harder. Personally, I started off with an interest in penetration testing and throughout the years, I've done various hack the box modules. I've read various penetration testing sources, watched different videos on it. So I definitely had a, I was a little bit more well equipped than the average person. Um, I studied for the penetration testing cert uh, through CompTIA for about six days. So um, I got the CISA Plus last Friday. I took a couple days off and then I studied for the penetration test until today, which is Sunday. So the following Sunday, I did not pass by a large margin, but when you think about it, you have to get a 750 out of 900. It's not an exact percentage ratio, but since nobody knows exactly how it's scored, for me to understand it, I typically say you have to get like about an 80 to 85 percent, roughly, okay, to pass it. Now, I know technically speaking, that's not exact, but that's just kind mm -hmm. of generally, that's how it is. So uh, that's how I studied. I also used, I have a Notion template, which I actually have the link to those templates in my description. And following those templates, it it really helped organize everything for me, put all of my resources in one place where I could go through and check, uh, check off all the resources that I've went through just to make sure that everything's done. So I also use that as well. So just to summarize for you, the Cybex Pentest Plus 003 is the one that I took, read it through, then did the exam uh, essentials, then specifically studied the tools, made sure I understood what all the tools are doing, and uh, used my Notion template as kind of like the backbone. 
Now, something I do suggest for you guys that are taking this test, I remember looking on Reddit and seeing a lot of people say, wow, half the test is scripting. And that's really true. Um, one thing I did not really appreciate about the Cybex book is at the end of the Cybex book, it just said, hey, make sure that you can differentiate between PowerShell, Bash, and Python. No, you do need to know a bit more than just being able to differentiate between them. You need to be able to read a command and understand what it's doing. And that's for all three of the languages. Um, it was a little bit surprising and I'm not the strongest in PowerShell by any means. I'm strongest in Bash and then Python's a bit behind it. But yeah, that's my biggest suggestion is the way to kind of get through it. I've heard Try Hack Me has an actual path uh, that aligns with the pin with the CompTIA pen test exam. I haven't taken it, so I can't 100% suggest it, but from what I saw, it's probably a good idea to go through that if you do not have hands-on experience. I definitely suggest you get hands-on experience. Um, I, a part of the hands-on experience I have is I'm about 40% of the way through Hack the Boxes uh, certified penetration testing specialist coursework. So outside of the other hands-on work that I have had, as well as the videos I've seen, I also kind of have that uh, penetration testing specialist coursework done behind me. Not saying you need that. I think you could probably do the try hack me um, kind of pathway in order to get a familiarization with the scripting because you really do need a familiarization with that. Not that you need to actually write things, but you need to be able to read things and be able to align. You do need like a little bit of writing, but that's, uh, I mean, I can't go too much into how much was on the test or anything, but yeah, definitely get familiar with the scripting portion. Now, how do I feel about this penetration testing certification? Honestly, going into it, I didn't really put a lot behind it because it's not very practical, right? That's the perspective I had. But after studying for it and obtaining the certification, I do think it's pretty good. Do I think it would be better than something like Hack the Box's CPTS? No. No, I do not. But it's it, it really does test you because you need to know the theory enough. You need to know what's going on behind the scenes enough. And honestly, in some parts, I think it's actually harder, right? I also have the EJPT, which is a junior penetration testing certification from INE. And I would say it's comparable, maybe even a little harder because here's the thing, with the technical certification, you're able to troubleshoot. You're able to do things incorrectly and then try something else to find the right answer. With the multiple choice uh, questions, you need to just know the answer. So I do think it's a little bit harder than the junior penetration tester from INE in its own way, okay, for sure. But I would definitely take something that's more technical over this as well. If you want kind of like a breadth of knowledge. Now that's not to downgrade the CompTIA Pen Test Plus because if you know and if you've heard, Hack the Box's CPTS, many people have said that's harder than the OSCP even. Okay, so that's just kind of to put it into a uh, perspective. So this has been my experience with the CompTIA penetration testing certification. Uh, some, some tips I have for you guys, my history, what I suggest, and how I feel about the certification as a whole, okay? If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. And if you found the video valuable, give it a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. If there was something in the video that you expected to see or hear and was not there, feel free to put a comment down below. I'll help as much as I can, okay? So thank you guys again for watching. Until next time.